Okay, here's a video for the one or two um, lovers of biology. So this I collected at the lower end, the lower base of a uh, cliff on the uh, Oak Creek uh, Trail, actually on the Oak Creek. So surrounded by um, a variety of things, good year um, the um, the willows and whatnot. So. Um, but anyway, um, I wasn't quite sure what it was at the time because I didn't take a good look. But um, there's an up close view, and you'll notice the uh, reptilian like uh, texture, and that is um, characteristic of. Uh, conocephalum and uh, conocephalum uh, there's there's a couple of species in the area um, conium conos, or, uh, conocephalum conium is one that you'll see off, uh, often enough sometimes in some fairly warm areas this actually probably is not is um, the elevation so this seems to key out according to the bio, uh, um, biology, the bryophytes of Colorado, um, the celebrosum. And so this is a circumpolar uh, conocephalum. Let me do the, that. And I know it doesn't look terribly pretty, but um, uh, it can look. The, uh, the other species can be quite... Uh, Extravagant. So this is more of a high elevation circumpolar uh, variety or species of that. But anyway, this is a um, this is a thallus liverwort. So it is uh, related to mosses uh, and like sphagnum and stuff like that, which so is you know is a moss but not true moss. Um, and there are leafy liverworts, Fulania, for example. Uh, is one actually that I have not seen around here, but often enough just sitting down with a hand lens in a moist area on bark you'll see for an amazing plant. But um, this is a thallus liverwort, so it uh, just grows and the back ends will die and um, it'll produce uh, spores, so it's it's got all the bryophyte characteristics. Um, but it has a certain Devonian look to it, uh, probably um, uh, evolved so uh, around about the Devonian, so quite a long time ago. So this is what uh, more or less the first land plants might have looked like. Um, but I'm not saying that it's a little living fossil, it's just maybe representative of what they were uh, doing. Not, not necessarily a lot can be fossilized. Um, and I think I'm going to see if I can gross it out and make it a little bit better and make it look a little bit better. But anyway, um, a thallus liverwort, um, Arcantia, which does not have this alligator like texture to it, is another one um, that you'll see more commonly sometimes at the top of pots. But anyway, a thallus liverwort, um, kind of cephalaceae is the family. And uh, this is an amazing, uh, um, liverworts are an amazing group of things, uh, of organisms, because they are bryophytes, so they reproduce by spores. Um, and uh, they're seasonal, well, I guess this one you could describe as seasonal, but uh, often shed their spores and come back. But a lot of, uh, uh, just an amazing group, has such an immense history. Uh, going back in time, often you'll see a genus in a single species or a genus in a couple of species. So, so much has happened um, over, you know, hundreds of millions of years. But anyway, there you go. So this is, and I'm not uh, sure if this even has a common name. But anyway, there you go.